Evloias ge agapi, blessings in love and Greek. Together, let's learn some ancient biblical Greek. That was spoken during the time of Jesus, and that way you can read the New Testament for yourself. Now, you're going to find kai, and a lot, which is pronounced ge in Greek. Ge. Now, word is logos, sometimes spelled logosoi. This means word, thought, divine reasoning, speech, utterance, divine word of God, thought of God, utterance and song of God. It also means Christ, the son of God. Christos means Christ, anointed one. Christos, to say Jesus, Jesus. Yesos, Yesos, it's spelled like a knock, but it's Yesos. Now, if you want to pronounce drugs, pharmaca, put it together with divine, theokos, theokos pharmaca, divine drugs. Sometimes you'll find this within ancient Greek text. Let's go pronounce together. Remedy, therapia, therapia. You'll find remedy within ancient text as well. Theo. And theos is to pronounce God. Theo is the older term, which also means feminine. So a feminine God, a goddess. Now to say goddess is Thea or Thea. Now Theos is both masculine and feminine when referring to God. Aeos and Aeia is the word for holy. Aeos being the masculine counterpart and Aeia being the feminine part of holy within the Greek language. So when saying the Holy Spirit, you say Aeia Penevma, Aeia Penevma meaning Holy Spirit, Penevma being spirit. So this is in regards to being feminine. As ancient Christians believed that God's feminine wisdom was female, being Sophia, Sophia meaning wisdom. So these words are feminine in nature. So this is biblical Greek, and I hope you're learning a little bit so far. Let's continue. Pateros, Pateros is father. Mitera is mother. Mitera Pateros, father and mother. If you want to say it together, Pateros, ge, Mitera, father and mother. So ge being and. Now another word for God, I am, Ime, Ime, is in Greek for I am. This also can mean it is. Let's say pharmacy, pharmakio. Pharmakio means pharmacy. Now to say son of God in Greek is eos tautheo. Eos tau theo. It could also be eos tau theos. So again, we go back to theo being feminine. How do we say life? Zoe. Zoe. This means life in ancient Greek. We see a lot of words referring to the ancient feminine here. Now the word amen is pronounced amin in Greek. Amin. So I hope you enjoyed little basic lessons of ancient Greek. Peace and love.